As many of you know, I am a big fan of experiments and I, um, I'm going to do an experiment today on a vitamin C supplement and see how it can um, dissolve. So we want our vitamin C supplements to dissolve in our stomach. So I actually have in these bowls apple cider vinegar because we all know that we have acid in our stomach. So hopefully this will kind of give the best um, understanding of how these tablets get absolved into our, um, into our, uh, uh, not a, get dissolved in our stomach. So I'm putting in Young Living Super C and, oops, I just knocked it over. Um, also Garden of Life um, tablet here. And this is their Living Vitamin C. I'm gonna see which one does better. Um, I did this one, I'm not, actually not too impressed. This is the Garden of Life. Um, this is the Garden of Life one, this one, but I did this about nine o'clock, so it's one o'clock now, so I did that um, like four hours ago. And we don't have, let me grab a, a spoon to show you, not, I mean, four hours, if this was in your stomach for four hours, I'd not be too impressed um, because it's still kind of clumpy there. Um, so it did dissolve over the four hours, but it's still pretty clumpy. So we're going to see how these guys do after 20 minutes. So like this is actually the same one as the one that's been waiting, but I want to see how they compare um, after 20 minutes. So we'll be back after 20 minutes. Okay, guys, I'm back. And it's been 20 minutes and we get to see how our supplements dissolve. So you want your supplement to be able to dissolve in your stomach um, because that's <laughs> how it's going to get absorbed. Um, so we have two really good quality supplements here. We have one Young Living. This is, um, this has a lot, it's a lot of like whole foods. There's citrus bioflavonoids. Um, tangerine oil, grapefruit oil, the vitamin C for two tablets is over 2000%. So it, even just one tablet will give you a boost of vitamin C. Um, this is also a really good vitamin C supplement. It's also coming from whole foods, um, you know, whole food uh, derivatives. And um, this is giving you less percentage uh, two tablets is going to be 400%, a little over 400. But if it's going to be a rock and just come out um, the same way it went in, it's not going to really do you much good. So I have apple cider vinegar here to help um, give us like the pH that we need because we, we do have acid in our stomach. So if we look at Young Living's, give it a stir, see what we got. I don't see any so like there's a little bit of maybe like it looks like um like a film type texture but it looks pretty much the whole tablet is gone i don't see it there okay and then if we look at the garden of life and i give it oh it's like stuck on the bottom um this one is pretty still solid can't even really chop it so that's not good for me. I want it to be easy on my stomach. I want it to be easy on my body. I want to get the benefits of the supplements that I buy. Um, and if it's doing for this type of supplement, I can imagine what it's doing for other lower grade supplements as well. Um, but vitamin C is really important and a lot of people take vitamin C every day because it's so valuable for supporting a healthy immune system. It's an antioxidant that our body needs. It is, um, I'm sure it says it on here, all its uses. Um, it's immune health support, antioxidants. It helps absorption of iron in our bodies. It is a precursor for glutathione, which if you know anything about detoxing, um, that's important. So, you know, it, it, when so many people are taking a supplement, I really want to look at what's the best quality and um, in this experiment, Young Living is the winner. We do take a lot of Young Living supplements. Um, so we, we like, we like Young Living Super C. I take, I take one tablet of these every day. All right, bye.